answer another very common question that we get from our customers. And that is, what's the difference between ABS and ASA? So we're gonna talk about what makes up those materials first. ABS stands for acrylonitrol butadiene styrene. ASA stands for acrylonitrol styrene acrylate. So two of those three ingredients are common to both, but you notice that the B butadiene is missing in ASA. Some of the things that people don't like about ABS is that it does have kind of a noxious smell when you print it. That is largely stemming from the butadiene, which is missing from ASA. The other thing people don't like about ABS is that it is a tough material to print. Sometimes it's hard to get it to stick to the bed. It wants to curl off, and there's a reason for that that I'm gonna cover, but unfortunately with ASA, you're gonna have that same problem. It's tough to get it to stick to the bed if you're not using an enclosed printer. The reason for that is you want to keep the ambient heat around the model hot enough so that it can cool very, very slowly. If it cools too quickly, the molecules that are in there are going to condense and come together, and that's why it's pulling off the bed or you're not getting good layer adhesion. So you still, even if you're printing with ASA, will want to print it in an enclosed printer. ASA has a couple of other really nice benefits. Just the nature of the material, it was actually designed and engineered with 3D printing in mind. ABS is a very common plastic, probably the most common plastic in the injection molding world and many things in your life are made using ABS, but not necessarily 3D printed. ASA is a newer material that really was born after 3D printing became more of a thing. So it was engineered primarily for 3D printing where ABS is engineered for lots of other things. ASA is going to give you a very, very smooth finish. This is an ASA print. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer and you can see how smooth that print is. The layer lines almost disappear. There was no post-processing done on this model at all. It came right off the printer looking like that. And that's a natural ASA, which is why I'm showing the skull model. That's what it would look like without any color added. Um, we can add lots of different colors to ASA and you're going to get that same smooth finish. The other problem um, with ABS is that it is not UV resistant and that was engineered right into the ASA so it is a UV resistant material. If you are using things and printing things for outside applications or even if it's in the house but close to a window and you're worried about sun fade you should choose ASA. You will find ASA to be a much uh, more user-friendly, easy to print material. It will print at roughly the exact same profiles as ABS. In fact, for the COEX 3D lineup, we recommend the exact same profiles for ABS and ASA in terms of nozzle temp and bed temp. Um, so I hope that that helps answer that question of why would I choose ASA versus ABS, but it can be confusing and I'm happy to help.